What is up everybody and welcome back to Let's Play GTA 3. I am the Crazy Gamer 351 and this is episode number 11. Now, on yesterday's episode, we completed all of Ray's missions, or at least all the missions he has so far. So in this episode, we're going to go and see who this D is. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too quiet, so... That should be better. Okay. Like I said, you know, I've been trying to play around with the audio levels, trying to get it right in some parts of the game. Yeah, that sounds fairly good. I think that sounds good against my voice. Here we go. So let's see who this D is. Ha <laughs> ha. You're going to get this D, bitch. It's a big D. Ha ha ha. Liberator. Ah, we're going to drive the monster truck from GTA 5, lol. Hello. First of all, let me thank you for dealing with that personal matter. What matter? People will read something into anything these days. If they got a book, they Experience will. Experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price. But groups of men get greedy. A valued well, I'm not a group, am I? I'm only one guy. gentleman I know has been kept hostage by some South Americans in Espatria. They're trying to extort additional funds from me, but I don't believe in renegotiation. A deal is a deal. So they'll not see a penny from me. Go and rescue my friend. Do whatever it takes. I think I can arrange that. Uh, can I first learn your name first? I kind of... I didn't catch that. I didn't catch your name. No? Okay. Fuck it. We don't know his name yet. Maybe he's not even going to tell us his name. How evil. I mean, I already know what his name is anyway. He is a very prominent character in the GTA games. But... The, but, but <laughs> okay. My English speaking abilities have just taken a shit. For those of you that don't know his name, you'll find out. Hmm. What way do I have to do it? This way. Yeah, for those of you that don't know his name, you'll eventually find it out. He's a very prominent character in the GTA games. He also appears in Vice City. But I don't believe he appears in San Andreas. I can't remember if he does or not. I don't think so. But anyway, you'll find out who he is. So let's try and find the Colombian gang car. Now the Colombians, they hang around down this end of the map. Now for those of you that are still not familiar with the gang cars, the red and silver sports cars, they are the Yakuza cars, they're stingers. The red low riders with the weird leopard print roof, this thing here, is that a leopard print roof? No. Well, with the leopard print seats, sorry. They're yardy cars. And then if you come along here, into this area, you have to watch out though, because, you know, Colombian territory. These blue trucks. These blue trucks, they are Colombia vehicles. Okay. So now we have got a Colombian game vehicle. We can go and rescue our Oriental gentleman. I 
might have made a mistake. Cleared out the place. Fuck off. Huh, what are you trying to do? What the fuck are you trying to do? Gotcha, bitch. Hello. Right, I've got a question for you. Do you want to ride? Actually, no, I've got a better question. You feeling lucky, punk? That's right, I'm a Clint Eastwood cosplayer and what? Ooh, I love driving over your dead bodies and hearing the squelch of the guts between my wheels. I'm not a sadist, I promise. Ooh, that sounded brutal. If a truck's coming round the bend at these speeds, why would you jump into the road? Wouldn't you jump further away from the pavement, like towards the buildings? You know, you'd be a bit safer because vehicles have a tendency to go on roads, not pavements. Unless you're me, then pavements are the roads, see? Yes, uh, easy enough mission. As long as you have your armor and your health all stocked up, you'll be fine. There you are. Oog. I'm gonna call you Oog, because you know, your initials are O-O-G, Old Oriental Gentleman. I'm a vato vato gentleman. Oh, that was pretty good. I don't even know Donald's next mission. Oh well, I just revealed his name. His name is Donald. Wakagashira Wipeout. Here's a big mission in the game. Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old fashioned gang war. Why don't you just destroy the buildings? But that might be going too far in this case. Yeah. I've noticed the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Nobody is friends where I'm concerned. Capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Wakagashira, Kenji Kassen. Kenji is attending what? a meeting at the top of the multi-story car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. You're in luck. I have a cartel gang car parked just outside. Look, there it is. Go to Fort Staunton? Nope. So, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Or maybe just gentlemen. I don't even know if any females watch this channel. Hopefully they do, because female gamers are awesome. So that's it. It's a huge development in the story. So the guy's name is Donald Love. So he's a very big character in the GTA series. He appears in GTA 3, he appears in Vice City, he also appears in Liberty City Stories. If Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories do come to PS4, I will be playing them. Now the only reason, now the reason I can only play PS4 games is because I record the videos from actually in the PS4. I use the PS4 software itself to record the games. I don't use any external things like Elgato's or anything. I don't use that. Because I don't really need to. I can record my voice. You know, maybe a face cam would be good, but it's not necessary. What side? Do I want to be? Sneaky deaky. I'm gonna drive in, take him out, and get the fuck out of there. Dive! Get 
out. That's what I don't like about this game. In other games, you can jump out while the car is moving. You can't do that in this game. You have to wait for the car to come to a complete stop. And if you can get out of the car while it's moving, it didn't bloody work there, did it? I'm going to test it. Can you jump out of the car while it's moving in this game? I, I don't know if you can. Oh, I don't want to do it in this territory. This is Colombian territory. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So let's see, can you jump out of a moving car? No. If you're driving a car and you hold triangle, it will actually stop the car. Whoa! So you see, you don't really need armor and health for this. You just need a strong vehicle. My vehicle was already a bit damaged, so that might have contributed to it. Which sucks a little bit. My god. Again, I don't even need... Good one, dickhead. Or bitch, should I say, considering you're a woman. Now, you don't actually need any weapons for this either, because you can just run him over. And to be honest, you have to run him over. If you get out of the vehicle while you're up there, they'll see you. And they'll know that it's not the cartel. So you need to be disguised by the truck. That's the whole reason for the cartel gang car. It's the whole premise on whether you pass this mission or not, basically. God damn it. There we go. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far. I am. I'm having a lot of fun recording these videos. Can't believe I will go through this shit again. But you see, it's not that hard to kill him. It's harder to get off of the car park. So remember, they're at the top there. It's harder to get off the top of the car park. Because everyone's shooting at you. Now I think... Before I do this, all your favorite commercials. I'm going to go in the pain spray because even though I haven't got any physical damage, I have been shot, and that will cause damage. Trust me. I tell you, don't touch that radio. I love this song. Unfortunately, I can't fucking listen to it though. Because YouTube will have a right shitstorm about it. Basically saying, you know, about copyright music and all that. They'll have a right field day with me, won't they? So, I've had a person ask for... I've had a, two people ask for the GTA 5 Let's Play. Someone said he wants to see it, and another person said, why not? It can be fun. There you are, bitch. You just looked in my general direction. Do you not see the cartel gang car sat there? I don't know if you have to be in the truck after you kill him. I think you do, because your cover still gets blown, so... That's not good. Because I'm going to fucking blow up, innit? No way. No friggin' way did I survive that. 17 health? Holy shit. That is more jammy than a jam sandwich, I tell you. My god. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. 
The truck exploded right next to my face, and I still survived. Oh my god, I'm saving after that. You can be damn sure of that. Whoa! Sorry about your dump, sir. Kind of came barreling down the driveway and crashed into it. My god, I, I can't get over that. I survived that. I thought I was dead for sure. Oh, I thought the worst when the truck caught fire. Oh, I was sinking. That's it. I'm done. But no. We pulled a right jammy dodger out of the bag there. Now, if you're wondering why I have these weapons at my safe house, it's because I've actually collected some hidden packages. I think I've got at least 30. So that's why they'll always spawn there, which is really good. But for now, let's go and see Ammunition, which is this way. There it is. Kind of lost my bearings for a second. I got all your own defence needs. This isn't for home defence. This is for everywhere defence because everyone's after me. I got the money. Oh, I completely forgot. I actually completely forgot. Holy shit, I almost forgot. Now, I don't have a map. That's a problem. I think I know where to go, though. No, I'm not going to Donald yet. I'm going somewhere better. I think I've gone the complete wrong way. Yeah, I have. I need to go this way. If you remember the last episode, you'll know why. you know why I want to come this way. There's a certain person I want to see. And he's parked right down here. Fuck off, shooting at me. Oh, the cartel are everywhere. There he is. Cheers. Basically, you get these other heavy weapons because they'll be very beneficial to you. Especially the rocket launcher. I mean, the M4 is good, or the M16, it's good, but the problem is with it, it's manual aim. That's a problem. I think it's also manual aim in Vice City. Not completely sure. Uh, come on, Donald. We've done two of your missions now. Have you heard the phone ringing there? You don't have to worry about that. Oh, piss off. You hit me. Look where I'm dented. In the door. That means you hit me. Everyone's out to get me. This is why one of my videos is titled Public Enemy Number One. Because I just am. Everyone's after me. The Yardies hate me. The Colombians hate me. Now the Yakuza hate me because I killed Kenji. The police always hate me. The Mafia hate me. The Triads hate me. The Diablos hate me. Literally, I'm going to have everyone on my ass by the end of this game. They might as well have dead or alive posters. Like wanted dead or alive posters dotted around the city with my face on them. Discerning feature, he can't speak. A drop in the ocean. This is the hard mission I was talking about. This one is insanely hard.
Your shirt's folding inside itself. In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach sure. to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. Not ready for this. Just not ready. So this mission is not easy. In any sense of the word. First off, you've got a timer already. Secondly, once I'm in the water, you'll see why it's hard. It is murder. Now basically, one thing you might realise, the boat is not on this island. Always lovely to know, isn't it? Oh god. I might not even get there. I might not even get there. I completely forgot where the boat was. You fucking kidding me? Are you kidding? This mission is so hard, I decided to drive myself into the water. No, I'm joking. I didn't drive myself into the water. The car fucking lost control. I'm telling you, the handling in this game is dog shit. The handling in this game is absolute dog turd. Like, just imagine if there was a car and a dog just sat on top of it and dumped on its roof. Or if, it, if you had, like, dog shit on your tyres. That are these cars. That is these cars. That's what it is. I can't believe that. Fucking drove myself into the water. All I did was clip a wall and it sent me flying, like I swear I clipped the wall, or like I tried to steer a little bit and it sent me flying off into the water. Because the cars have no handling. But this one does, it sticks to the ground quite well. The rest of them bloody don't know. I definitely need to go ammunition before this mission. I can't wait to get this mission done. It's the bane of my existence. I hate it. I hate every single thing about this mission. And the recent events that have just transpired, I hate it even more now. I don't even need anyone else to kill me. Just leave it to me. I'll just drive myself in the fucking water and I'll kill myself. That's how much of a bloody numpty I am. Like, God fucking damn it. This is great. A game that is almost 17 years old. Still managing to fuck me over. Still. This game is almost as old as I am. And he's still managing to fuck me over. Maybe in my old age, I'm getting worse at games. Maybe. Or maybe it's the simple fact that Rockstar don't know how to code handling for vehicles properly. At least in this game they didn't. Screw it, that's what I say. Okay, now let's do this right. Oh, that was a lovely J turn, look at that. Handbrake, straight into a post. 
The game is against me. It is out to get me. There we are. We're on the road home. Sweet home Alabama. Or in this case, as we're going over the Callahan Bridge, Sweet home Callahanna. I like that. I should make that a song. Sweet home Callahanna. Boy, I'm going over this bridge. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go that way. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, the camera just shit itself. Oh, the tries aren't attacking anymore. Probably forgot who I am. Here we are. There's the plane. Are you serious? <sighs> Damn it! How fucking hard is it to make a swimming mechanic? You did it in San Andreas and that only came three years after this game. God damn! Oh, fuck a duck. Seriously, what is going on? I swear I've developed some sort of mental condition that just doesn't allow me to jump into boats. But what's wrong with you, Claude? Are you fucking allergic to water? What the fuck? That's one of the rarest conditions out there. And even if you are allergic to it, you only get a rash, you don't fucking die. Jesus Christ. Why can this fucker not swim? Why can this... He can't speak. He can't swim. Why the fuck does anyone employ this guy to do their work? He's shit. He can't even do basic cognitive functions. A person with no arms can swim. But this fucker, who's perfectly able, cannot swim. He can't even speak. Because Rockstar thought, Oh, it doesn't matter if the main character does not speak. Of course it does. It's the main character of your first ever 3D game. Of course he has to speak. It's shit if he doesn't speak. Otherwise people are just talking to themselves for the entire fucking game. I'm not even bothering with anything else. If I die, I die. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. If I die, then fuck it. I die. God fucking damn it. This fucker cannot swim, he cannot speak, he is an idiot. I hate him. I hate you, Claude. I hope you know that. Like, I hate you with every fibre of my being. You can fuck off. Why do I bother playing this game? I knew it would piss me off. I bet the subscribers are having a right good time. Fuck's sake, I hate this character. And you thought Rockstar would have thought, hmm, okay, how can we improve on the next game, Vice City? Oh, I know. Let's, let's make an obvious one. Let's make it able to swim. No, stupid idea. That's what they said. Fuck them, that's what I say. Fuck you, Rockstar. Can you tell I'm angry yet? I honestly just... I can't believe the amount of stupidity on show with this guy. He's an idiot. In fact, you know what, Donald? Fuck you as well. Why are you making us come back to this first island? What's the point? Just give us a boat at Staunton. I might just jump off here and see if I can land on the boat like a lucky fucking dip. Watch this, he'll fail again. What if I just press triangle next to the boat? Really? Why didn't you tell me that? Maybe you did, and I just fucking forgot it, I don't know.
I'm making this mission look even harder than it's supposed to be. Yeah, I know I'm here. This is where the difficult part comes. One star. Two stars. Three stars. Four stars. Five fucking stars. But you know what? Rockstar are kind enough to give us five stars and not six. Yeah, very fucking helpful. You bastards. I hate you. Why five stars? We're still only on the second island. Why are you throwing me in at the deep end? Oh, wait. You, 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 you don't have to throw this fucker in the deep end. You can throw him in at any end of the pool and he'll fucking drown because he can't swim. It's water, Claude. It's not fucking oil. It's not going to drag you down. It's not quicksand. God damn, Rockstar was stupid when they made this game. Absolutely retarded. What is the point of this guy? He can't speak, he can't swim. What's the point in him being a character? The hell is this all about? I was slowing down. Wait, I can't go that way? Oh my god. Right, well, I need a different strategy then, don't I? I was going to try and get as close to him as possible before getting a vehicle. That ain't going to happen. I need to get to my safe house. That's where I need to go. Get a couple of wanted stars. I need to get this down to at least three stars. If I can, get it down further. Do I really have to come up here? Good grief, the FBI's going to be involved in everything. Oh no, now I have to jump onto land? Oh no. Oh, we made it. Holy shit. But now we need a vehicle, and that's the problem. I don't want to do this without cheats. I'm not a cheater. I need a cheater, that's what I need. That would be good, they're fast. I need any car, basically, just any fucking car. Any. Whoa! There we go. Oh my god! At least I killed a lot of them. Christ. FBI Karunas. Motherfuckers inbound. Oh my god, yep. And you will realise the police in GTA 3 are the most aggressive police that Rockstar have ever created. Like, take my aggression when I rank and times it by a hundred and you'll get the fucking GTA 3 police. Come on, I'm almost there. Oh my god! We've done it. We did it! Oh my god. And you give me 10 grand for that, you son of a bitch, Donald. I only lost 7 health through all of that, can't believe it. Taxi, I fucking love you. You fucking survived. And look, we've got another rain mission. Have finally managed to repair the damaged mechanism on the Staunton Lift Bridge, and it is now open to traffic flow. Oh, God. Vale. I almost had a fucking heart attack, I tell you. I think my blood, my, my blood pressure is through the fucking roof right now. Jeez. I hate that mission. It's one of my most hated missions ever. That's why I dreaded coming back to this game, like to play it. 
because I knew that these hard missions were still to come and he's got so much there's like so many restrictions because you, you can't early. swim and there's only one plane that you can fly and it's just so hard and police are so aggressive and the cars are so weak it's just difficult it really is hard like that mission might I might have made it look a bit easy but it's not trust me that mission is not easy before we go any further we are gonna save because I need to I need to save I need to do that. Honestly, the taxis are probably the best vehicle in this game. Please save. I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, thank God. I don't have to do that anymore. I hate that mission. I hate it so much. Right, well, considering he's back up on the map, we might as well go see Ray. No phone call or anything, just, hey, guess what? I'm here. Did you miss me? Basically. This is the angriest I've ever got in a video. Ah, you fucking deserve it. Hey, money! Okay, what we got? Marked man. Oh shit! You weren't followed. Good. I never am. This is it. I'm not followed by many people head. actually. Like here. even on my Twitter CIA and on my Instagram, their numbers are a bit lackluster. And they don't like a screwing with the cartel. I'm a marked man, so I'm getting out of here. Get me to my fight at the airport, and I'll make it worth your while. Okay, I have a question. How can they mark you if they don't know where you are? That's what I have to say. Hey, yeah, get in the car, Ray, you old fuck. Now, the CIA have the bridge under surveillance, so we've got to find another way across. And the way you do that, is you come along here. And you might be thinking, what the hell are you on about? I will assure you. Basically, you've got to come near the hospital. Yeah, you've got to come near the hospital. I can't even remember where the hospital is, so... Good luck with that. I'm an idiot when it comes to GTA games, really. I mean, I have got a Platinum on GTA 5 that I'm especially proud of. That was a good achievement for me. So yeah, the hospital's actually a fair, de fair distance away. Yeah, how, how can they mark Ray? Like, how can he be a marked man if no one knows where he is? Like, he hides in the toilets all the time. All they have to do is, all they have to do is go in the toilet block and go, hey bitch, you're arrested, and just get him. I've got to remember where the fuck I'm going, and I do not know. I don't know where I'm going, honestly. I can't remember. You know what? I was almost going to do that. I think I remember where I have to. Go, yeah, it's around here. I Ooh. Where is it? Here it is. He will come under here. We already don't have much time, so I don't think I'm going to pass this. Basically... Yep, 
Yeah, I'm not going to make it. Let's just watch him disappear from the passenger seat. Lol. See you later, Ray. Prick. Why are you making me come all the way to Shoreside? Fuck you. I hate him. I hate him with everything in my body. I really want to complete this mission before I go. To be fair, you shouldn't even care that the CIA, have, the CIA have the bridge under surveillance. It's actually not that heavily armed. There's only like probably six or seven guys. There's not that many. You just got to make sure that the bridge is down before you go across and you can just speed straight through. Otherwise, you've got to wait for the road to lower back down again. It's all your fault, though, Ray. I hate you. You suck. You suck dick. Is there an easy way to go from Belleville Park? I think there is. I think it's basically just straight this way. Still on a determined run. And again, the audio of the game has shit itself, and I don't know why. It's just had a heart attack. It's just gone really fucking quiet. But like, I can't even hear it. And I'm, so, I'm sat right in front of the TV, and I can't hear it. What is going on? I don't get it. Screw it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go, you prick. In. So you say you're a marked man, Mr. Machowski. <laughs> I will help with that. Right, it'll work this time because I know where the fuck I'm going. And that's always a good sign. Now, I doubt I'll actually go and save before I end the video. Depends if I have enough time. Right. So this is actually the easy way of doing it. You go underneath the bridge. Underground. Coming up to one o'clock in a pretty wet Thursday afternoon in England or Britain or UK. However you want to say it. So yeah, we have officially unlocked Shoreside Vale. So I don't think we're actually that far away from the end of the game. I don't think there's a ton of missions in Shoreside. But I do know it is where the game ends. So you see, you will see some guys, but not that much. And then boom. Here's a kid in the lockup. You find some cash and some supplies I stash in case things got tight. See you around. Okay, so Ray is going to get his flight. We have officially helped him. We have officially finished his missions. Well, we haven't actually finished the mission yet. Now we've got to go over to the lockup and collect Ray's stash. He's got some stuff for us, which is amazing. Oh crap. 
I need a car to come down here, please. I need a car. Oh, I need a car. Please, I need a car. Please. Please, can I have a car? You know what? We're just going to have to run into the tunnel and see if we can find one. Screw this game. Um, not the car I was hoping for. Got to admit. You know what? We're just going to have to do it. Please, Chase. You'll lose the place soon enough. Are you just waiting there for me? Yeah, the police star should disappear soon enough. So there you go. That is Ray dropped off. He's getting his flight. And he's also left us some stuff, which is very kind of him. So let's go and find his stash. See what he has for us. Look how long Claude takes to aim the gun. It's like slow motion. But his arm just unfolds. Look. Like he's a fucking robot. Possibly one of the worst cars ever. The Manana. Those cars are very close together. Holy shit. You can't drive. And I'm going to overtake you as well. So yeah, that's very nice of... Very nice of Ray. To leave us some stuff. I don't think we should be trusted with it, considering we can't even drive a car properly. So let's go and find his stash. And no, it's not a stash of drugs. It's not his stash of bud. It's a very helpful stash, actually. So let's go and see what it is. Well, bus galore. Or should I say coach galore? Newport. It's a shame we aren't in the Newport in Wales, huh? So it's just down here, his lock up. And you just come down here. Take care of my bulletproof patriot. See you in Miami. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. 20 grand. We have a flamethrower and we have lots of goodies. We also get some money. We get a lot more weapons. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is damn right. Look what we have. We have a bulletproof Patriot. How awesome is that? A bulletproof Patriot. I am definitely keeping this for later use. Absolutely amazing. Definitely going to keep this. I'm not going to drive it, actually, until I need it. So we're going to park this up in there. We're going to get these weapons. Now we're loaded. And I'm going to save the game. Save that game, please. Anyway, guys, that will be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I've been the Crazy Gamer, 351. 
and I'll see you next time.